All right, everyone, let's uh, play with this Humvee now. The last video, it has uh, music in it, but I, I could go ahead and monetize it, I guess, because I didn't, I was still under fair right use, but I'm not gonna monetize it. It's not worth risking my channel. Uh, so we're going to just leave that one up for a couple weeks and then or I might just leave it up, you know, I don't know. I'll probably just leave it up. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's not, it's not gonna be a, a bunch of money loss. Everybody thinks, uh, make tons. Okay, so let's get this. Let's see what they have here. This is a mod. What is that? A little bar in there? Oh my dear gosh. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's a TV. Oh, sweet. All right. Well, the bar would be nice to have, wouldn't it? All right. Let's go drive this bad boy around. I don't know how bad it's going to be, but... Then we're going to do a hauling one probably next. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll probably be hauling, like, some kind of tank, I think. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Oh, let's see about the lights. Here, let's see about the lights. Oh, those are nice. I like the sound of this thing, too. Diesel. Boy, you need, like, a... A whole, uh... Football field to turn this thing around. Alright, let's 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 go take it off-road a little bit. We don't want to see highway driving. But second... Let's go ahead and switch camera views here. I know everybody hates that because, you know, like messes with their eyes and some people it does. Fully understandable. Let's go ahead and shift it in third. Hit a fourth and a fourth. It's only a four speed. Oh, man. Oh, look, I just messed up by screwing out with this thing. I don't know about this way, guys. This, uh, this way is kind of... Uh, Messing with the camera. There's like a mountain or something above. So we'll just see what this does. Oh yeah, I keep trying to shift it in fifth gear. There's not a fifth gear. Alright, well. Water! Mud! Alright. Dang. I'm gonna try to get my 24 hour video. See, there we go. That's how, That's what it does. I didn't do that. I didn't touch my camera or nothing. That's just how it does. There we go. We're back now. So I'm going to try to do the 24 hour thing. And this looks like it has the front end like a wheel out of line or something. Boy, these tires ain't going to last long. Oh, Humvee in water. I didn't know you could use Q. I was hitting the wrong button. Look at that mud, man. We're flinging it. Now we're kind of high centered. I want to try to get that van. I want to do that little van thing. I want to try to get everybody, anybody that's put up on Steam Workshop or any map that I can download easy anywhere. The mods that, like the trucks on the on the workshop, I will do those. If anybody has mods on like a website, I won't do those. I don't, I mean, I can do them, but man, it's a pain in the butt most time. Maps are pretty easy sometimes. I think you can watch High Volts Gaming, I think. He shows how to put the maps in the I think I think he just did a video I'm not I'm not real sure and then if not go over to Sid's channel the guy that does all these cool mods on a lot of these Fords and Baja runners and all this stuff and 6x6 Chevys and all that craziness uh he shows how to do that that's how I learned everybody wants me to make a video on how to do it I just direct him over to Sid. I mean, yeah, I might get views. I might be losing views that way, but it kind of supports the modder too. And if you already have a really good tutorial out there, and it's always be up to date. He's gonna always probably keep it up to date because he knows he's in in the knowing of what to do. So if it changes, I'm sure he'll update his uh, video. He'll put something in there and say go to this one. So that's why I direct it to that, to him. That's why I do that, that way. Do it that way. Direct it to that. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean to call you that. But anyway, everybody wants me, uh, everybody wants 
brute or somebody to make a truck just like mine in real life. Cummins turbo diesel 89 model and it's full of drive, five speed, have a 460. Uh, super swamper boggers, rough shape. Of course, that truck has been used though. It used to not have a dent in the passenger side until I backed up into a tree. I couldn't see it. A guy had his arm in my mirror or in the, on the, like, brace up on the door and uh, passenger side, and I didn't see. And I backed into it and collapsed my door kind of in the mirror. So, yeah. It happens. It happens. Then the bed, the reason the bed's so smashed up is because I used it for hauling cedar logs and junk and scrap. And the bed, I had a backhoe. I have pictures of I'm going to post that sometime. I looked really goofy back in the day. I still do. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, they had, I shoved a log up in there to try to make it my life a little easier. And it cr shoved, all, shoved the bottom log. It was like a longer log. And it shoved it up, smashed in the back of my cab. Then I threw a piece of cedar, four-foot piece of cedar in the back of my truck, trying to make save some time, you know, throw it in there so that's why I can stack it. And it ricocheted right off the bottom of my on my bed and went up and hit my passenger side window, my glass, my back glass. So I had a piece of plexiglass in there, so there's like no locking that truck up. I mean, like, well, you can lock it, but that truck would be so easy to steal if you wanted to steal it because it's old-timey kind of. It's kind of like the old, you know, it's got the same ignition as a 69 Ford in it have that all modified thanks to my dad he does all that wiring stuff he's like you need to learn that I'm not gonna be around forever I'm like it's so damn hard I, I don't understand it it's not as bad I'm getting better with it but yeah he's done all the wiring stuff he's been he's wire houses and all kinds of shit it's nuts man he's made so much Stuff. So that's probably how I get my creative skills. I don't know. All right. Well, it looks like the Humvee's stuck. Let's go get the van. Let's see where are we at. Let's go ahead and post this right here, and then we're gonna get the van. This the van? Yeah. Oh, it has duels on it. I seen this. I was like, this thing is kind of nifty. It's a really nifty little rig. Let's uh, let's go see what it has. Oh, it has stuff. Oh, it has a rack. Let's install that rack. I don't know what that was. I will never know. All right. Oh, it has little baby wheels. Oh, I like those. Oh, those look kind of cool. The A-Team van. No, not really. Uh, let's go with those. I like those other ones, but... The reason I said not really is because the A-Team van. I can't even talk right. It's like... If you guys don't understand why I can't talk right, is cover your ears with both hands and try to talk. And try to talk really clear without messing up. That's what it's like because I have these Turtle Beach headset. And if you buy a pair, like, I think they're like, I don't know what they are. Let's see, hold on, let me look here. Z60 Air Force. You have to watch the microphone. Because if you touch the microphone, it's like, they didn't get the stuff right. Like, uh, when they took and did the, oh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It's basically... The fitting you know, where you plug in your headset to it, it's like a little bit off. If you was a machinist, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's only a five speed. We're gonna drive this on the road, then we're gonna drive it off the road, because we're gonna wreck it off the road. Let's see what the front end looks like. Oh, we can't get up it. Oh, it's a four wheel drive, but it's it has a two wheel drive axle front. Maybe it's electronic. We're going to say it's electronic. You know, like them big semis have with electronic front axles? We'll say that's what it is. You have to basically make your own imagination. Imagine, ugh, oh my dear gosh, I can't even talk. Imagination up because some stuff is not able to be 
done yet, or it's too complicated. Or, someone don't know how to do it, and they're just learning, so... Yeah, we're gonna put it in third. Third seems like a safe gear. How about the lights? We didn't check the lights out. Oh, those are nice. I like this front end. I don't know, something about it. It's like, uh... A new style, old, cool, I don't know. Something really... Something really, uh, cool. Let's, let's go ahead and just pull it off in here. We're gonna give it a, a test. Oh, we're gonna flip it, though. Now we just plug the grill up. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, we rolled it. Okay, so apparently it's just a little top heavy. And we have the Humvee stuck. We have this stuck. And now you guys are tired of me talking. Looks like there's a motor and transmission in there. That did pretty good. I like this. I might give it another go, but I don't know. I'm going to go I'm gonna go try the Camaros out. Hold on. Let's go do that. Let's go see if we can get them to work. Let's go back to the main menu. I couldn't get the Camaros to work. Don't, I don't know if it's just because the the map. Let's go find the Camaros. The Camaros. <laughs> oh, did I subscribe to them? I think I did. I want to do the dubstepper thing soon. See, I didn't. I don't think I subscribed to them. I thought I did. I don't know. Did I just pass them up? Probably pass them up. Where, where is the... I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, okay, well, we'll do the next one then. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, the next one will be probably a haul-in video, so stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.